Hi folks. Hope you can hear me. Uh, this is called Bait Island. So you got the Quebec side on my right and on my left, the Ontario. So it's just in the middle. Behind me, behind you, there's a bridge called Champlain Bridge. And this is right in the middle, basically. It's a part, you can stop and come and look, you know, enjoy the nature, enjoy the river. There's a lot of kayak going on here. There's, there's rapids, so I guess competition during the summertime. So it's, it's pretty neat. It's a neat place, actually. And what you see there in the distance is the uh, national capital of Canada. So it's Ottawa and uh, the parliament. So I'm here to take a couple of shots of this nice landscape, but also because it's the weather seems to be okay. Uh, the clouds are, are moody. Probably some rain coming. We had a couple of days of rain here so far. It's getting colder. We had nice weather not long ago, and now we're back in the cold. Basically the regular weather we're supposed to be getting in, in the spring here in our region. Um, on the COVID front, we are in lockdown. So this is, this is as far as I can go from home. This is it. I have to be alone. If there's people around me, I have to wear a mask. But it's a stay at home. It's very critical right now. So yeah. Um, but anyway, we're not the only one in this situation. It's, it's going around. And when I say around, around the globe, right? Everybody's affected by this. What I want to talk today, this video is about micro photography. This video is about does the Leica Q2 a good camera for micro photography? Well, let's just find out after this intro. Honestly, I think the uh, Leica 2 is not a micro, a real micro uh, lens for photography. Uh, you can call it, you know, a close-up lens, um, but it's not. But that doesn't really matter. You know why? Because it's an awesome lens. And with the sensor, a 47.3 megapixel sensor, well, you can crop, 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 and crop, and nobody will know the difference. Now with this lens, with this camera, you can be walking in a bush somewhere, in a garden, and you can see a nice big bumblebee or a bee, you know, on the flower. You don't need a tripod. You don't need special light. You turn the lens on micro mode and hell you know at a reasonable lighting here we understand ourselves and you just grab a shot it's a 28 millimeter lens it's a wide angle micro wide angle macro lens wide angle mind you it's a 1.7 but when you put it on micro mode you end up with a 2.8 max aperture but even that it's unbelievable, unbelievably sharp. Super nice, super nice lens. Super nice setup. To me, Leica just did it, you know? They, they just did what they had to do.
So I've been testing this this uh, mode, the macro mode on the uh, Q2, and 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 you know what? I don't think it's a macro one-to-one -one lens for professional stuff, but yet um, a close-up lens and a darn good one too. And because the uh, sensor is 47.3 megapixel, you can crop, 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 and crop, and nobody will know the difference. Nobody will know the difference. So this lens, this combination, Leica sensor, the lens, the Simulux, 28 millimeters. And remember this, this is, this is not a 100 millimeter macro lens or a 50 or 60. This is a 28 wide angle, wide angle macro lens. The possibility, the creativity you can come out, out of this is just amazing, just amazing. I just used it in my backyard here in the, in the part, Bait Island, where I am right now. And it's just amazing <laughs> stuff you can do with this. So you tell me, is the Leica 2 Q2 a good alternative to do macro photography? So I, I, I'm, I'm really excited about the possibility with this lens and this camera, the combination there, especially when the summer comes around, nice and sunny and all the, the flowers are out and the bees and, and the bumblebees and butterfly. And I'm not saying it's a perfect setup. There's no such thing as a perfect camera. Otherwise we wouldn't be buying camera. Who would need a, a camera after you purchased a perfect one, right? So forget that. It's not about perfect. If you're on the fence, buying this camera or not, using it for micro, you know what? Don't be. Just, just you know, just let go and just do it. I can just imagine using this camera, uh, a wedding photographer, you know, um, having this camera and doing a detail shot. You know, rings, flowers, plates, any little detail that you usually take during a wedding, this camera is perfect. But anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, soon there'll be more video coming, especially with landscape. Kind of start missing the landscape uh, photography there. And until the meantime, please leave a comment. Tell me if you use this camera for micro uh, photography or any comment doesn't matter if it's positive, negative, I don't care. Any comment is good, welcome. And uh, please subscribe to this channel. And uh, yeah, till next time, keep shooting.